with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part one of four. Russia, go home. Russia, go home. Peace for Ukraine or you reign now. Russia, just go home. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Even with just a lousy <laughs> devotion, lousy devotion, you still can have so much benefit. Huh? Then do not doubt that a person who devoted completely body, speech, and mind, the whole body and heart for God, understand? For the path, for the practice, of course she or he will get the healing power, the whole benefit of God's blessing, and then she or he can give it to others. What I mean is even a fraction, a small, small fraction of this power will change so much in our lives and in our environments and anyone that comes in touch with us, that we are so puzzled <laughs> that this kind of power really exists. Please stay with us to listen to this enlightening lecture. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. I believe that all animals, whether large or small, whether we understand them or not, have a right to live without the horrors of being farmed for food. Billy Simmons, vegan. Today's program will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Oloxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. Salam Kalaisen means Hi, how are you in Kazakh? Benevolent viewers. The family oriented Kazakh people are respectful of the wise elders and adore the company of the youngest members. May our world be one big happy family with both humans and non-humans living in peace and harmony. Go vegan to make this a reality. Kazakhstan is the largest country in Central Asia, extending from the west of China to the Caspian Sea. Its natural terrain ranges from vast plains to highlands and mountains reaching almost 7,000 meters in height. The nation includes people of the wildlife kingdom, such as antelope and elk people in the plains, bears, wolves and sable people at higher altitudes, and sturgeon and herring people in the Caspian Sea. Today, indigenous Kazakhs comprise two-thirds of the country's 18 million people. 
they have inherited a rich nomadic culture with homes called yurts or gars, which are comfortable, portable dwellings that can be easily dismantled and then rebuilt at another location. Kazakhs have a long history of legends that are described in songs accompanied by instruments like the kobis, dombra and the bill. One of the most renowned Kazakh composers for the Dombra is Kormangazi Sagir Bayu, whose music has been adapted to orchestral compositions. The Kazakh people also love storytelling and poetry. Talented authors such as Magjan Zumabaev and Abai Kunan Bayu offer the beauty of poetic literature that honors their homeland. The Kazakh people are welcoming cheerful, honest, and respectful to elders. They delight in celebrating culturally significant events such as Nauris, which means New Day. This ancient holiday signifies the new life of spring. It is celebrated with symbolic acts such as settling past debts and forgiving others, as well as joyous music and performances. Be vegan is to love God and His whole world in action. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. She has been invited to lecture on the Kuan Yin method of meditation throughout the world. We now invite you to view Walk the Way of Love, an introduction to Supreme Master Ching Hai. We'll search high and low for a little love, for a little love to bestow on all beings in all corners of existence. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. Supreme Master Ching Hai, as she has affectionately become known, lives a message that walks the way of love. A renowned humanitarian, artist, and spiritual visionary, her love and assistance has extended beyond all cultural and racial boundaries to people around the world. The needy and homeless, institutions of medical research, war veterans, the disadvantaged, the physically and mentally handicapped, refugees and victims of natural disasters, etc. We witness countless reminders of the compassion, the trademark of this caring lady and the international foundation that has grown out of her loving example. Whatever we can share, begin with sharing. And then we will feel a subtle change in ourselves. More love will be pouring into our consciousness and we will be aware of something. And that is the beginning. We are here to learn to grow as well as to learn to use our power, our limitless power of love and creativity in order to make a better world wherever we happen to be incarnated. Don't worry. Don't worry. I pray for you, okay, honey? Not only are human beings the blessed beneficiaries of her kindness, animal people from different species are also the recipients of her boundless benevolence. Hello, you grow so big now, you. Bon appetito. I love you. Good appetite. 
This is one of the reasons why we should be vegan. Love for all beings, extending love. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, was born in central Olak, or Vietnam. During her early years, she was often found helping hospital patients, the needy, as well as injured animal people in whichever way she could. As a young adult, she moved to Europe to study and continued there as a translator for the Red Cross. She soon discovered that pain and suffering exist in all corners of the globe, and her search for the remedy to this became the foremost goal in her life. She was happily married at the time to a German doctor, and although it was an extremely difficult decision for both of them, her husband agreed to a separation. She then embarked on what became a two-year-plus journey in search for spiritual understanding. Finally, in the deepest reaches of the Himalayas in India, she found an enlightened master who imparted to her the Kuan Yin Method, a meditation method on the inner heavenly light and sound. After a period of practice, she became fully enlightened. Soon after her return from the Himalayas, at the earnest request of those around her, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared the Kuan Yin method with others, encouraging them to look within to find their own greatness. Through the Kuan Yin method of meditation, they also attained greater fulfillment, happiness, and peace. Before long, invitations arrived from the United States, etc. I saw that I was everywhere and in every creature. Europe. To see God is very, very simple. Asia. All religions tell you, be a good person here and find heaven while you can. Australia. We are the sons and daughters of God. We are ourselves, the Supreme Master. Africa. I will show you how to get direct teaching. And South America. And keep the commandments and try to lead a more vegan life as well as from important organizations for Supreme Master Ching Hai to give lectures. The peace and love that we most often talk about and seek, we have within ourselves. You must look inside and find your own treasure and find the real lasting happiness. The future is in our hands, so you make it beautiful or you make it worse, it's up to you. Supreme Master Ching Hai has realized many spontaneous talents that she expresses through artistic paintings and creations, music and poetry, and aesthetic jewelry and clothing designs, expressing the inner and outer beauty. The income generated from her artistic creations has enabled Supreme Master Ching Hai to create an independent source of funding for humanitarian activities in support of her noble mission of assisting God's children in their times of need. Although she does not seek acknowledgement of any kind, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been given awards worldwide by government officials and private organizations on numerous occasions. They include the World Peace Award, the World Spiritual Leadership Award, the Award for Promotion of Human Rights, the World Citizen Humanitarian Award, the Award for Outstanding Public Service to Mankind, the 2006 Goosey Peace Prize, the Los Angeles Music Week Certificate of Commendation, and first place silver for the 27th Annual Tele Awards 2006. In addition, October 25th and February 22nd have been proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day in the United States. She also brings love around the world where there is hate. She brings hope where there is despair. And she brings understanding where there is misunderstanding. She is the light of a great person, an angel of mercy, for all of us. Agradecer a la Suprema Maestra su liderazgo, agradecerle su optimismo, agradecerle ese don de gente que tiene que la hace tan única y tan especial. Es una impresión muy grata de ver un corazón tan noble, 
están dispuestos a servir. Ella está sirviendo a todos los seres humanos, está sirviendo al planeta para salvarlo, para rescatarlo. Tiene un corazón noble, pero también un gran liderazgo. Sé que van a suceder las cosas que tienen que suceder. Supreme Master Ching Hai is one of the truly dedicated people of this era, helping others find and create a beautiful vision of our future. Many great people in history have had a dream, and in her own words, so does Supreme Master Ching Hai. A dream that all the world will become peaceful. A dream that everyone becomes a Buddha. A dream that all the killing will stop. A dream that all the children will walk in peace and harmony. A dream that all the nations shake hands with each other, protect each other, and help each other. A dream that our beautiful planet will not be destroyed. It takes billions, billions, trillions of years to produce this planet. And it's so beautiful, so wonderful. I dream that it will continue, but in peace, beauty, and love. The United States has been graced on many occasions with visits from Supreme Master Ching Hai, a vegan. In 1989, in response to the earnest longing of spiritual truth seekers, she traveled to the country to impart her wisdom and insights. In this fascinating lecture, Master expounds on various topics, including We now invite you to join us for part 6 of this enlightening lecture titled given by Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan in San Francisco, California, USA on May 24, 1989. We pray for Ukraine or Ukraine. Why did I say we are dead? Because we have eyes, but we don't see much. We only see from here to there. We have ears, but we don't hear much. We can only hear a little bit, a very short distance. And we don't hear the celestial music. We don't see the heavenly abode. Abode? Yeah? So we are blind, deaf, and dumb. Yeah. This is a pity. We have great eyes, great ears. We can hear a thousand miles. We can hear from here to Taiwan. We can see from here to Germany. We can see from here to heaven. We can see from here to hell, and we don't use it. So we call ourselves deaf and dumb and dead. This is like that. We move within a limited space and time. We can walk about 200 miles, and then we collapse. So we have no power, we can see only a little bit, and we can be awake only for a certain amount of hours, and then we have to close our eyes and sleep. But there is a person who never sleeps, who doesn't need sleep, who doesn't need to eat, who doesn't need to do anything, and he knows everything, he sees everything, he hears everything. That is our true self. That's what we call God, Christ's power, or the Buddha nature. And we have to awaken that person. That's called awakening. After we awaken that person, we will be omnipresent. Slowly, slowly, we will become, I and my Father are one. We will know everything without knowledge. We will see everything without looking. We will hear everything without listening. Therefore, in the Bible it says, Hearing you hear, but you do not 
understand. Seeing you see, but you do not perceive. That is a meaning. It's like what I have just been explaining to you. Seeing you see, but you do not perceive. Hearing you hear, but you do not understand. What is that hearing and not understanding? What is that seeing and not perceiving? It is because our seeing is not really seeing, but an illusion. The real world is beyond our physical eyes. The real world is beyond our physical ears. We have to awaken the real selves in order to experience, to perceive the real world. That is what the Bible means. By seeing you see, but you do not perceive. And after we are awakened, we are connected with the whole cosmos, with the whole universe. And then we are no longer working alone. We work with God power. We are connected like a network. You understand? Just like we are connected together by the radio television network or the telephone network. You understand? Just dial number and then everybody knows what happens or just uh, broadcast some news, and then the whole country, the whole world, knows what happened in America or what happened in Taiwan. And that's a network. But this is a physical network, and we have a finer, a more subtle, a more super, super network. And that is what we call being a co-worker with God, a co-worker with the cosmos, a co-worker with the Buddha. That is what we call becoming a Buddha. Becoming the all-knowing, mighty, omnipresent. And then you can stay here and talk, and then you can also at the same time appear in whatever country that needs your manifestation. That is called omnipresent. Then you can sit there and listen to me, and at the same time you can manifest many bodies and go to different countries or different places to help people who call you for help. That is being omnipresent. And that is a great uh, goal that we should set before us and which we can achieve. And it's very easy by devoting about one-tenth of our everyday time that we can achieve that in a short while. And even if we don't achieve this omnipresent status, we can achieve a great, a great power and great benefit for ourselves, our relatives, our friends, our neighbors, and our countries. We can radiate light to heal all the many miseries in the world and can help many people. One of my disciples, he is a, a doctor. He's very young. He just graduated, understand? Just graduated. And he has no experience with surgery. But any time he operates on anyone, that person, he is sure to recover in two, three days. And these people normally have no more hope. Like one case, today we were talking in the car again. One of my disciples, uh, she's there. Her son is a doctor in, in Taiwan. And her son is very young and has no experience in surgery. Just, just graduated, a new doctor. Normally, he's not allowed to do any independent operation. You know that, huh? A new, newly born doctor. But the many desperate cases is already nearly on the waiting list to death, so he can try. Anyhow, they will die. Understand? Therefore, he can try his hand. And he tries, and then the person goes home in two, three days. Actually, already desperate, like the lungs are full of water. Eh? I'm speaking here, and the person is there, so you are not afraid I'm telling any lies. <laughs> Today, we were driving here, we were talking again, and they kept thanking the Master how much benefit they get and how much they can benefit others. Therefore, it became again a topic. Now that doctor, any time he touches any person, that person immediately goes home. And all the doctors say, how, how, how you, 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 you do, 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 do that? You understand? <laughs> he doesn't know how even. This is just a very, very small aspect of this Christ power or the God power that I meant to convey to you, that you yourself have, not that I will give to you or anyone gives to you. God, God gives it to us. 
we are born with it. God is so merciful that when He sent us into this world, He was worried that His children might be in want. Huh. So He yes. provides us with anything, everything inside. Inside. It's just we forgot how to use it. And then we come here, we feel so lonely, helpless, powerless, and we are miserable. We are unhappy. Therefore, the most happy person in the world is not really happy. Because if he doesn't know where his real happiness, where his everlasting happiness lies, then he is not really happy. So therefore, everybody has some kind of frustrated uh, feeling something's missing, don't know what it is. Doesn't matter how much uh, money we have, doesn't matter how beautiful our wives, our husbands are, somehow we don't feel completely satisfied. Just like when my disciple today mentioned, she is now fully happy inside, uh, very satisfied. I said to her, I'm happy for you. And even then, you don't practice very well. You're not very diligent. <laughs> and you still have so much benefit. She said before, every day she got a headache, was dizzy. The whole body wasn't in order. <laughs> and after initiation, of course, eating vegan, and now she's so healthy. Therefore, her family completely supports her. Thank God that she manifests some sign of physical benefit. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> the, the inner benefit, no one can tell. Understand? This is only physical manifestation, and so little as that. And even though she doesn't practice well, she's a lousy practitioner, I may say. <laughs> I can say I'm happy for her, even with just a lousy <laughs> devotion, lousy devotion. You still can have so much benefit. Yeah? Then, do not doubt that a person who devoted completely body, speech, and mind, the whole body and heart for God, understand? For the path, for the practice. Of course, she or he will get the healing power, the whole benefit of God's blessing, and then she or he can give it to others. So there's no doubt about that. That means even though she practices so lousily, she got so much, many, many other things that she's completely satisfied inside. Before she did not know what she lived for, she was depressed, this kind of depression. And now she's completely happy inside. And nobody knows that, except seeing that her body is healthy and, <laughs> and she has no more sickness and all these kind of things. This is a petty, <clears throat> insignificant benefit. <clears throat> but that got some good points, because then her family is seeing that she doesn't go berserk. <laughs> So they support her practice and do not hinder her. And that's the only good thing about that. Otherwise, this is not what we are looking for. The physical benefit is not worth our intention. It's just that what I mean is even a fraction, a small, small fraction of this power would change so much in our lives, our environments, and anyone that comes in touch with us that we are so puzzled <laughs> that this kind of power really exists. And it is nearly the 21st century. Quite, nearly. Yes, what I mean is it is the very scientific era. And people, if they listen to this kind of my talk, they might think I'm talking about fairy tales. Therefore, it is difficult to convey our message to the world at large, however much I'm impatient to do so, and however much my disciples are excited to do so, they still have to be patient and play low. It is very pitiful, but there's no remedy for it. Even when Jesus was here, He did not save many people. Not many people followed Him. And Buddha also, not many people followed him. Only after they died, then they became more famous. Why? Is it easier to worship a dead master? 
It's true. Because they have no words. <laughs> Whatever you want to believe, he wouldn't correct you. Whatever your false faith, he would not scold you or would not hurt your ego. Uh, that is, is the meaning of that. <laughs> so, after the Master died, yeah, everybody come and worship and make a big deal, make pomp and show and everything. But when the Master is alive, it's difficult. It's hard to survive, let alone to, let alone to transmit any power or any doctrines. Therefore, in Chinese, uh, we say, uh, since ancient times, uh, the real master's life is like a very, a very delicate thread. It means easy to, to break it. The life of a master is very dangerous. They mean it like that. Because they are so ahead of their time, that whatever they talk about, the majority would not understand and would not be able to accept. <laughs> For Ukraine or Ukraine. Vegan leader, one who can rule forever. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Fiji is one of them. Fiji. Protection of Animals Act 1954, with the last amendment in 2016. Any person who cruelly ill-treats an animal person in his or her charge is guilty of an offense and shall be liable to a fine of $100 and or imprisonment of up to six months. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more herding. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Happy viewers, thank you for your presence today for Words of Wisdom. Please join us again next Monday, August 14th, for How to Acquire Your Inner Highest Potential Power, Questions and Answers, Part 7 of 11. Coming up next is UFOs in Historical Paintings, Part 1 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. May God bless you and your loved ones. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, Heaven Godspeed! Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada WOW. Nossos programas ofrecen vários idiomas. Acesse suprimacetv.com barra schedule e suprimacetv.com barra www. 